In Creole Parametric, you can use Mannequin to place human models into your assembly and then perform different vision analyses. Here I am on the Mannequin tab in assembly mode. First, let's click on the vision window and then for my 50th percentile NASA human male, it shows me in the little accessory window what the person is capable of seeing. And right now he is just looking straight ahead. You can use the look at button in order to bring up a dialog box and from here this is where you can also change the drag and the reach but we're going to change what he is looking at i'm going to click on a point over here and you'll notice that the vision window has changed let's keep that going let's do it one more time and i'll click about over here oh now he's looking a little too far down let me rotate the mod i want to change it so it's like right about over there and so you can see the vision window of what he's looking at. Now let's close out of the vision window and instead we can take a look at the vision cones. And when I click on that, you're going to see a variety of different surfaces in here. Let me change that for a moment. Let me just change it back to looking a little bit further up. And so we have with these different vision cones, a number of different surfaces indicating what the mannequin is capable of seeing in the field of view based on a few different criteria. And so there are a number of different surfaces here. I'm gonna start from the outside and work my way in. First, we have a green surface, and this represents the peripheral vision, which is the overall field of view. And then moving inside there a bit, there is a smaller yellow surface, and that is the binocular cone. And the binocular cone is the overlap of the left and the right fields of view. And then inside of there, you can see that there is a red cone, and the red cone is for the macula vision, which is the optimal vision. And then finally inside of there is a blue cone, and that is the accurate vision, which is the reading zone. So that is what you are getting from the different vision cones. Also, you will notice that the vision cones are actually visible a little bit inside of the vision window. Uh, the entire vision window, though, that does represent the peripheral vision. So those are some of the different visual analysis tools that you have with Mannequin. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.